Hello everybody, I am Granddaddy Gamer and I just outlasted the poison and I never took any antidote. I'm going to show you exactly what I did and how I did it step by step and we're going to start right now. Hey guys, I'm Granddaddy Gamer and welcome back to the channel. Now, today is something different. Now, we're going to be doing a guide on how to deal with poison when you don't have an antidote, you don't have the PP, you don't have a PP farm, uh, you can't find enough PP, maybe you don't have the crafting level to craft it. There is a way. It's actually a timer. Three day timer, and there's a way you can do it specifically to wait it out. So now let's look. This is my bar right here. Now I should lose about three to three and a half bars, okay? And my food is a little low. Maybe your stats are as good as mine. Maybe they're better. Maybe they're a little bit worse. But if your health is too low or if it's super early in the game, maybe like the first day or two and you get poisoned, it's better off to reload. But this is what we're going to do. So it is about 6.30 in the morning. And we're going to come over here and we're going to get poisoned. Okay? And I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Now there is one of these... Well, I guess they migrate. Those little purple stars actually migrate. Wow, I didn't know they moved. That's an interesting thing. All right, well, let's go find a lionfish. So because my stats are pretty high, I'm regening health. That's how it works, and that's the principle that we're going to be using today. I guess getting poison is harder than it looks. Mr. Snake! All right, cool. Now we're poisoned. We got a snake. The first time when I tested this before I did the camera, I actually got got a lionfish. So, all right, here we go. We're poisoned. So now the first thing we want to do, now you guys are going to see that I have set everything up. This is just to make it easier for myself. Okay, I'm going to grab some palm fronds just to have them on my belt. I have a, <laughs> I have a bit of fish. Now, I need to eat and drink. I want to keep my food and drink maxed. I have no food. Everything's like this. So we need to get this going ASAP. All right. I'm going to keep my Tinder with me just because I'm going to baby my fire. So that's going to be good for a minute. Let's go back and get some more. I want at least two more fish. We got to get this right away. Now I'm not setting it up perfect so that I had everything ready to go because you're not going to be able, you're not going to have that either. So. So there it is. Let's drink some water. All right, our water's full, so let's stick down here. We're going to need to fill these up and really keep these full because we are going to want to make sure that we have our water going at all times. All right, so we're good there. Our food's cooking. We're okay. So here we are, one, two, three, four, five and a half bars is what we have. And this is day one. We got poisoned about probably eight o'clock. Now, what I'm gonna wanna do is pick up my fishing spear. And we're gonna wanna go fishing. So the cool thing about this is while you're fishing, you don't have to worry about, now if the snake bites you, He's definitely going to do damage, okay? The lionfish is not going to bother you anymore because he's, he can't poison you twice. The underwater snake or a night snake, you know, above ground is definitely going to do damage. And the last thing you want at all is any kind of damage to your health bar, okay? So your best bet is to stick at home, farm, run the island for sticks, young palms, palm trees, anything you can use for your fire, for your water still. Yes, you are going to need a water still. 
you're going to need a good source of water. And I say this because this should be like one of the first things you make, period. Right? And so now we're going to be watching our... Even though, like, my, my water bar drop just a sliver i literally just picked it right back up i do not want to play around so i got two pieces of meat cooked i want to eat those immediately and now my food and my water is good now i have three pieces on here and i have another piece right here it's cooked i'm going to take it and i'm going to leave it in my inventory and we're going to throw a couple more on the grill. Oh, Smoker, whatever. You have a hobo stove, you got just a regular campfire. Remember from our tips and tricks, you can put a ton of food on there so it's not one at a time. You're not messed, messed over if you have uh, no ability to make the smoker yet. That's fine, don't worry, you're good. So I want to keep my fire stocked. Now I have a little bit of young palms here. That's not a problem. We're actually going to circle. I'm going to let these smoke really just smoke out. We're good right now. And as soon as either my food or my water drop a little bit, I am going to uh, drink and eat. I'm going to go around, continue to gather resources, uh, food, Young palms, because we can use the young palms either for the water still or the fire, as firewood. Remember that. Alright, so we are just going around and farming materials. Anything that I can use to keep my water still going, keep my fire going, keep my food going, the whole, the whole shebang. So if you don't have a bunch of uh, food just laying around um, no matter what like one of the first things you should, you should be doing the first couple days is literally making a water still because water is so important okay so our our food has dipped just a little bit and our water is dipping a little bit I'm gonna eat this I'm gonna drink water I'm not even gonna give it a chance to drop even if you guys say oh it's fine it's not it's don't don't take any chances, guys. Now, you guys need to make sure that you don't cut out of this video because after I show you how I beat it in three days, there is something specific that if you do incorrectly, it will reset your timer and you will not survive. You will definitely need an antidote or you will die. And I'm going to tell you that at the end. So right now, all I'm doing is going around, watching everything that I have. Now, my SPF is dropping, so, like, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stay out of the sun, and I'm going to let it go up. This is the most important thing to me is my stats. And if you do this correctly, as you can see now, it is about 3 what about four o'clock in the afternoon so we got poisoned at eight o'clock in the morning um, I was losing about one to one and a quarter bars per day so that means anywhere from three to four bars of health was lost during the poisoning timer running out and as long as I watched my SPF I kept my food maxed my water maxed like I have two water stills even if you have one this is definitely doable even if you don't have a smoker it's definitely doable you can pile meat right on top of your fire it's not going to be an issue okay so we're starting to look good my water starting to drop I definitely want to get myself back in and drink some more water now it's about to be night so I might give it a minute uh, go see if I can actually catch a fish or two. I just, I want to stay busy. At this point, I don't care if it's small or large. Really, I'm just trying to get fish. And the cool thing, like I said, is as long as I'm not stepping on little crabs or uh, getting bit by snakes or, you know, 
large hogs. I'm fine. See, now there's a snake there. I want to get out of that. I don't want him to do damage to my health bar. Alright. Now, it is advised that once you get yourself to PP and you, um, you're not poisoned, you don't need it, set yourself up to farming plots and farm the PP both. That way you can constantly pick them and you'll always have them on hand. But just in case you don't or they're not ready, you can do this. And it, it's going to work. I've done it. Cool. Now I want to take this food off. Immediately check my fire. Okay. These are smoked. So now they can come to me. Like so. We are good. Take our cooked. Eat it. Keep those on us. And now let's get... Six more fish. Five for the smoker and one for the fire. Oh, it's disgusting. And put those back on. Make sure all our palm fronds and our water still are full. Top off our water and go to bed. I'm going to tell you why you want to go to sleep as soon as you can. To me, it doesn't matter what it is at this point. I'm not letting it fall far enough to be a major issue. Now we need to get wood for that fire. It may be out by the time you get up. I need one palm frond. All right, so our water's pretty low. We definitely need to drink. We're good again. Don't panic if it gets too low. It's fine. Just don't make it a habit. You're really your goal is to keep all your stats as high as possible to try to slow slow and wait out the timer. So, we're literally waiting for the sun to drop. And as you can see, I'll pull this up. We're at day 59 in on console. It's dark. We're sleeping, period. Now, and the reason you guys want to do this is because while you sleep... It pauses your health bar. Right. Your health bar stops. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning, so here in about a couple hours, we'll have literally 24 hours down on the poison. And just so you guys can see, we're going to switch over. We're still poisoned. But that's fine. All right, so now I want to take these fish off because I'm going to be using these fish for today to keep my health going. All right, our food is on the fire. Let's check our stats. Water is very low. Well, a little low. It's not very low, but it is a little low. To me, it is very low. We're going to take a couple palm fronds. We're going to put a couple more in our inventory. So that I'm ready to fill it up at a moment's notice. Even though that might seem like overkill. It just kind of keeps me busy. It's really a race at this point. It's a battle. to keep your health stats up and outlast the poison. All right, guys, so the sun is setting, and in the morning, about 8, 8.30, it'll be a full two days, 48 hours, that we were poisoned. Now, I have gone through, and, and as you can see, we are still poisoned. Now, I've gone through the whole day, and I've literally fished, and I've gathered wood, and I have uh, kept my palm fronds in 
uh, my water still I kept my food going okay so my food as you can see once again my health bar did not fall while I slept this is the key and this is why I said as soon as you can sleep you need to sleep it stops your health bar but the timer continues to tick okay so now let's fill up all right guys so we are literally just going around farming and my food and water has dropped just a little bit so now we're gonna go back we're gonna drink some water we're gonna eat a steak go back to 100 percent my SPF is not bad I'm gonna go back to farming fishing gathering materials and basically staying busy and proactive to keep my health up and slow this poison down as much as possible all right guys so the Sun is set it is the end of our second day but remember we were poisoned about 8 8 30 in the morning so this is actually towards the end of the last day we want to get some water we want to get everything completely up and we're about two and a quarter bars left of our health we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep immediately we're not gonna save the game we never save the game at any point and that's because if you save your game while you're poisoned and then you leave the game and come back you reset the poisons timer so that means if you're poisoned and you've done all this up till the very end and then you save the game and exited when you come back your timer is reset and you will need antidote at that point so this is a one shot all the way through deal as soon as you get poison you really just need to be attentive you need to continually keep your stats up your food your water your SPF go around do the farming related to your still and your food which is the most important thing and everything's fine so now really we're just waiting it's 7 30 in the morning we're still poisoned so that means within an hour in game hour we should actually be cured But I'm going to go ahead and act like as if I had more time, just in case. And there it is, guys. We're cured. You can see right there, status effect, healthy. We have, and now we're gaining health. We had about two and a half bars that's amazing so yes you can outlast poison guys you have to have enough health and really the object is to keep your food and your water full and everything to do with the next three days should be centered around your food and your water and kind of staying out of the sun and keeping your SPF at an acceptable level Anyways, guys, I am Granddaddy Gamer. If you found this guide useful or helpful in any way, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. And if this is your first time on the channel, I got loads of guides just like this, especially in Stranded Deep and other games. Tap that subscribe button and that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload another one. But anyways, I am Granddaddy Gamer, guys. You guys are all amazing. And I will see you in the next.